I'm on a quest to have a second healthy baby. And that means I'm not putting any toxins, any fragrances in my body. And that's where Caraway Home Cookware and their Tupperware come into play. Right now, when you use my code TSFS at CarawayHome.com, you get 10% off. I'm sure you're like, Sarah, what are you talking about? Well, Caraway products are non-toxic. That means they have no PFAs, PTFEs, those forever chemicals that are extremely hard to pronounce. And I just ordered their storage containers in Navy. Oh, and hello, they don't have any toxic chemicals either. Don't believe me? Go and read their five-star reviews. Over 65,000 people have rated them five stars. Visit CarawayHome.com slash TSFS to take advantage of this limited time offer for 10% off your next purchase. This deal is exclusive to Sarah Fraser Show listeners, so support my show and visit carawayhome.com slash TSFS or use code TSFS at checkout. Caraway, non-toxic cookware made modern. One, two, my check. All right, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new TLC talk. Happy Galentine's Valentine's Day to all my TLC talkers. Ah! I love you. And I mean, happy Valentine's from the TLC world. How are our favorite TLC stars spending Valentine's Day? Well, we're going to get into it. Also, we're going to get into which sister wife lost 110 pounds cast member. Tammy Slayton's got a new girlfriend. You heard that right. Girlfriend. And we do know the cause of death of Caleb Willingham from 1,000 Pound Sisters. But you guys, my husband, Schman, is such an amazing man. Yesterday was my birthday, my 42nd fabulous birthday. People say to me, oh my God, you're telling people your age. Yes, I don't care. It's an honor. It's an honor. Don't you find in life, the longer you go along, I don't find age depressing. Now, maybe I guess when I'm 65, I, I feel like maybe that's when it will like take a turn. But I'm said it's so, we're so lucky to be here. I know, I'm sure you are listening and you've had people in your life pass away at such a young age. I think about my dad who passed away when he was 49 and here I am 42. It's a blessing. I'm beyond grateful to be alive, to be healthy, to have my son be getting ready to go through IVF. So my lovely husband sent me a cameo from, oh my God. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? And by the way, you can watch this on YouTube if you want to watch it. Here we go. Hi, Fina. Oh, my God. Okay, wait. Watch, watch. Uh, Sarah, it's Tammy from a Thousand Pound Sisters. <laughs> I want to wish you a happy birthday. Also, yeah. I hear you're putting together a podcast in your own TV show. Uh, yeah. Baby, don't give up. Keep going. Even though there's going to be there's going to be ups and there's going to be downs there, and okay. everything in between. But at the end of the day, it's going to be very rewarding. <laughs> Tammy. I promise you. Just keep the dream alive, baby. <laughs> you got this. Thanks, girl. I can't wait to watch. <laughs> okay, bye. The- enjoy your birthday. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh. I love y'all, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks, girl. Bye thank you. Now. Bye. Bye for now, Tammy. And, you know, it's such, it's, such a sh- it's such a shame, isn't it? I mean, if she only had unblocked me on TikTok, she would know that I have a podcast and that I do multiple TV shows, you know? But if just unblock me, Tammy. Anyway, what a, what a birthday wish from Tammy Slayton. Quite frankly, my adversary, who, who doesn't even know she's my adversary, but she has blocked me on social media and then sent me a lovely cameo birthday message for $50. Sweetheart, I love you. I won't give up. And by the way, Tammy, I wish you could respond to these cameos, like with video form. Please be on my talk show that's, you know, coming. Like, come be on my TV show, please. Like, you're my dream guest. Anyway, I love my Shmano. He got me that as a gift. Isn't that so great? So I now have one from Big Ed. And then I got to meet Big Ed. So maybe this is the... I feel like Schman got me last year for my birthday, a Big Ed birthday wish. And then I got to interview Big Ed like three months later. So maybe this will happen from Tammy. What a way, What a birthday celebration, really. The best. All right, let's get into Sister Wives Tea. You all want it. We've got a lot of... We've got... Some wild 90-day fiancé weddings, too, that took place. You can now stay at Christine Brown and David Woolley's Airbnb in Moab. Oh, I was getting ready to review this damn Airbnb and tell you what price it is. 
It sleeps eight guests, three bedrooms, four beds, two and a half baths. Enjoy Moab, three bedroom villa, no chores. Well, great. I know that's actually true. It's like, don't you hate it when you go to an Airbnb and they go, take the trash out? No, fucker. Like you take the trash out. I'm renting this place from you for like higher than a hotel. You take it out. Minor rant. Sleeps eight, three bedrooms, four beds. Fans of TLC's hit show, Sister Wives Unite, owned by Sister Wives star Christine Brown Woolley and her husband, David. You can enjoy this beautiful and peaceful townhome in Moab, Utah. Uh, the collection of the news articles, magazine articles, and family photos are featured in the villa. Plus, the villa boasts beautiful rim views and starry skies, complete with a two-car garage and high-speed Wi-Fi. The kitchen, well-appointed kitchen, kitchen offers everything you need to create tantalizing delights from the simplest of meals to the gourmet. What? What kind of thing is this, this kitchen? It includes a full set of temptations from Christine's personal kitchen. Dishes, pots, and pans. So wait a minute. Is that supposed to be like a flex? Like, oh, and by the way, you're getting Christine Brown's dirty pots and dishes that she no longer uses. (laughs) Oh, I'm in. I'm in. There's a Flex Brew Trio coffee machine, an Instapot. Oh, that Christine used? All right. No need to bring your high chair. We have one. The patio. Natural gas for outdoor cooking. The living room. Oh, my Lord. They give you the full breakdown. The master bedroom. Just bring your own laptop in suite. Bathroom holds two sinks and a shower. No tub. Well, have you guys had sex in that bedroom? Like what else? Tell me what else is going on in there. Oh my God, you guys, they go down the list of the entire thing. But by the way, you cannot. So I go to click because I was like, I'm reserving this. My husband makes all the reservations for our Airbnb. They go, you can't reserve. This host is only taking people who have... uh, three or more bookings. So I can't find out the price because I personally, from my account, don't have three or more bookings. Can you believe that crap? Okay. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> oh, now you can go to Moab and uh, Christine and David, they're investing. They're making those coins and they are really, they're putting them to good use. Now they got a rental. Just be- They built a beautiful $700,000 home last year in Utah. And now they've got their gorgeous Airbnb rental. Heck yeah. I love it. Love, love, love it. So um, if you, there's some other dirt too about Christine and David out. Apparently Christine uh, spoke to People Magazine this past week. She says that she heard about Mary and Mary's new boyfriend, Amos, at the same time that we did. Um, And, you know, she, she read about it, I guess, in the tabloids. That's how she found out. And then she's also cleared up that she's been still getting a lot of crap from people as to why she hasn't taken, why she's still Christine Brown and not Christine Woolley. And she says that it's just a matter of the paperwork. She loves the sounds of being a Woolley. She wants to be a Woolley. She's got to redo her passport, all that. And as soon as she does, she will take his last name. He apparently doesn't care. He said like, I know she's like my wife. I know she's my queen. It's all good, girl. But there you have it. They had a Super Bowl party. They looked great. Um, And by the way, I think you guys all know this because you like my TLC talks and I think you loved my Sister Wives recaps. But I am watching Sister Wives from the beginning with you all. And the very first episode I did was this past Monday. So I recapped season one, episode one. And when I tell you... Oh my God, it's so good. The foreshadowing in that very first episode. And also, I don't know about anybody else, but I actually felt like a tinge sad for Cody and Rob, for the whole group, because they were so excited that season one first episode. I mean, Cody was like a puppy. He was so happy to be introducing us to his world of polygamy and his family and his wives. And then we see, we just see how it all begins to fold, baby. So there's that. Um, People are accusing Mary this week of overdosing on filler. Is she overusing fillers and flaunting her new weight loss makeover too much with the new boyfriend? First of all, she's she's lost a ton of weight. 
I don't think we know how much she's actually lost, but she's gone through a major weight loss transformation, Mary has. But people now think that she's using airbrushing too much, and they also believe she's getting Botox and filler in real life, changing her hair color. And while some fans, I think she looks great, a lot of fans are now beginning to complain that one of the things they like so much about Sister Wives is that the Sister Wives haven't done plastic surgery, and Mary's changing that. Well, who cares? People are saying, Mary, uh, you know, are you insecure? Um, despite all the positive things that are happening to you, is Amos having an effect on her social, on her um, self-esteem? Is that why she's loading up on the filters and Botox and alleged fillers? Wow. I mean, I think she looks great. And I've got news for you guys. No one, including myself, nobody looks in real life like they do on their Instagram. Every single person is adding a filter is adding uh, or going to Facetune and smoothing out the wrinkles and whitening the teeth, myself included, and then posting the picture so everyone goes, oh my God, girl, you look so good. And meanwhile, they meet us in person and they're like, Lord, help us. Those teeth. Now, how, how in the hell are those? Uh, those teeth are so yellow in real life. What in the world? Okay. Would you, what did you douse and hold your Starbucks coffee mug? to your teeth right before you got here how are they that yellow in those pictures looks like you got damn veneers and now i get here you got corn teeth anyway so some people are begging mary to go back to her beautiful oh natural ways well i can tell you right now that ship has sailed she's looks she looks great mary even posted this past it's week tammy she's oh tammy my girl tammy Mary even posted this past week that she is working on her new business ventures and a lot of people, she apparently launched an LLC for entertainment. Do we think Mary Brown is launching a podcast? Can you imagine? Be game over. Like if she were doing recaps with Jen, her bestie, that would be unbelievable. So a lot of people want to know what part of her entertainment business she is launching next. I got to imagine she's pretty darn busy with the leggings business plus the uh, bed and breakfast plus the show. They've already filmed season 19. I have to imagine she's pretty slammed. Just saying. Um, So she, you know, I, I think she looks great. Everybody uses them damn filters. Rock and roll says... The woman in the sister wife sphere. Oh, wait, let me thank a sponsor. Let me thank a sponsor. Wait, you guys, uh, I love you so much for frequenting my sponsors. Every time you purchase from one of them, you help this show. I want to give you nonstop content every single day. And a podcast drops on the Sarah Fraser show daily. Okay, thanks to you and thanks to you frequenting my sponsors. OneSkin is one of those amazing sponsors. Now, oneskin.co is the website. And by entering the promo code TSFS, you get 15% off your order. February is the month of love, baby. So why not show some love to your skin? Most skincare routines only deliver superficial results, but thanks to today's sponsor, OneSkin, you get a scientifically proven treatment that improves the appearance and health of your skin at the cellular level. Now, the secret is One Skin's proprietary OS01 peptide. It's the first ingredient scientifically proven to reduce the buildup of certain aging cells, those notorious zombie cells that contribute to skin aging. It goes to the source and actually plumps your skin, reduces those zombie cells instead of just treating the top. One Skin is more than skincare. It's about skin longevity. I'm using it. I love their eye cream. I love their face lotion. No fragrance, which is really important if you're trying to get pregnant. They target the root cause of aging to help you look and feel your best at every age. Get started today with 15% off using code TSFS at oneskin.co. That's 15% off oneskin.co with the promo code TSFS. After your purchase, they'll ask you where you heard about them. Please, please tell them you heard about them from the Sarah Fraser show. It's time to expect more from your skincare routine. Invest in the health of your own skin with one skin. McKelty. Ooh, I did. I, I'm a fan of McKelty and Tony. I mean, Tony's a little odd. He's a little odd. And I definitely can. I, I called it first. I told you guys. Tony and Christine do not get along. You can tell. 
They they tolerate one another. They're okay. But the the rumor has always been that Tony and McKelty are very, very close. It's not really a rumor. It's confirmed on the show and on their Patreons that they do. Are very, very close to Robin and Cody. And for whatever reason, audiences have like somehow like come from McKelty over that. I mean, it's so weird to me because family is complicated. And of course, you love family members and some family members you stay in touch with and others you don't. Anyhow. Um, so McKelty is like the most hated child from the Brown family crew, but good for her. It doesn't stop her from put, going on social, putting up all of her stuff. And this week she's denying that she lost weight on Ozempic, but is confirming that she's lost 110 pounds. Yes, queen, 110 pounds. Mm. Wow. She looks Unbelievable. She is at her goal weight of 160 pounds. She says having her twins and then post-twins, she gained a ton of weight. Wow. Um, So she has lost all the weight and she credits. Now, this is where a lot of people are like, girl, are you really drinking that Plexus tea? Or are you on the Ozempi? She currently weighs 160 pounds and says she is start starting to bulk up with muscle. My long-term goals are to live a long life and be able to keep up with my kids as they grow. I feel better and more energy and high endurance than ever. The TV star thanked Tony for helping and encouraging her. In February, the couple showed off their biceps at the gym. Both of them combined have lost almost 200 pounds. Wow. Fans continue to speculate that McKelty's smaller physique is the result of taking Ozempic. You on the Ozempi, which a lot of celebrities have turned to. Wow. Um, but she says that's not true. I'm taking a supplement drug and running around and chasing three kids. The TV personality also confirmed that Plexus is not a diet tea, she says. It's a gut health tea. And she says, I've done a lot of things behind the scenes to lose weight, like changing what I eat, starting to work out. Plexus is just one of those. It's a gut health company, she said. So its goal is to help you internally. Woo! Look, I never shame anyone for get your coins. Get your coins. I just, you know how I feel about the teas and the Ozempi and mm-mm, ain't going to work long term. But anyway, but then people go, you're a hater. You a hater, bitch. Oh, just got to do the work. Nothing nothing is a simple shot for life. So there's your sister wives uh, updates. A lot of people want to get into and talk about Tammy Slayton. Tammy Slayton has a girlfriend. It was announced this week. Tammy has been seeing a woman named Andrea who is from Kentucky, lives about 35 minutes away. Does Andrea have a last name, you're thinking, so we can find her online? As far as I have seen, no. Tammy Slayton has reportedly found love in dating a new woman. This was confirmed to the Sun exclusively, and the couple is going strong. There's a lot going on with Tammy Slayton. Tammy has been uh, described herself as a pansexual, and after the death of Caleb, and even before the death of Caleb, she was reportedly dating a man but now has found love in, with Andrea. They're happier than ever and enjoying time together. I, okay, I got to go look because I kind of wondered if Andrea was the blonde on her, on Tammy's Instagram recently, who's a psychic and also like a L- alien chaser. Now, Tammy lives in Princeton, Kentucky. Oh my God, Tammy, please. I'm ready to do my show there. With her brother, Chris, as we know, Andrea lives about 30 miles away in Kentucky. Before Tammy started dating Andrea, she was dating internet TikToker Greg Morgan. Okay, Greg. We love a little Greg. Greg's long gone, honey. Okay? We're now doing Andrea. Um, And so friends and family are saying that this is the relationship that she needed. She's doing terrific with her 400-pound weight loss. And get this. Tammy Slayton is now set to be a cover girl. Sources are telling news outlets that Tammy is seeking deals and with companies beyond TLC now that she was able to renegotiate her contract. This is kind of huge because, you know, reportedly Tammy Slate, and I do believe this to be true, there was a long time where Tammy and, and Amy were making $3,000 an episode combined. <laughs> not anymore. Mm-mm, not anymore. That was a train wreck of a, of a deal. Well, they have renegotiated. And a source says that Tammy now has her eyes set on modeling and growing her public image beyond the reality show. Tammy wants to represent people in her community who have been through what she's been through. 
She had a strict contract, which restricted her from doing outside shows and projects, but not anymore. Tammy is talking to a few agencies and actually has her eye on modeling. <gasps> Can you imagine if Tammy walked New York Fashion Week? Oh, my God. Oh, she will. I bet she I bet that queen will. These, you wait, Tammy and Amy, because Amy's back on the weight loss train. Amy's dating a man, too. He's a hot guy. Now, he was arrested for a DUI and with Tammy earlier this summer in August. I broke that story for, she was cited for weed possession. Um, went to court to settle that. Um, Amy's got a new man. But can I just tell you, these two women are going to pop off. Season five did well, very well. Now we're going to get a season six. And I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't even be surprised if these two women left TLC and popped up on another network. I wouldn't, it wouldn't shock me. But I bet Tammy is going to blow up. Like modeling gigs. I bet there's going to be a lot more to come. Also, Caleb Willingham's cause of death has been revealed, and it does have to do with complications around obesity. So this, there was a lot of back and forth. Shout out to my girl, Sarah, from Texas. I was on her podcast, who's also a Thousand Pound Sister fan. And Sarah from Texas said, yeah, I think there's something more nefarious going on with him. Before Caleb had died, he and Tammy had broken up, and he was apparently very depressed. Well, now the cause of death has been revealed, which they really did reveal, I thought, in the final episode, which it was, he basically had a massive heart attack. Um, and this has been conferred through Radar Online. They revealed that he developed several severe complications in super morbid obesity over the years. His case summary from the Lucas County Coroner's Office reveals that the TLC star had enlarged cardio, my, oh my God, cardio, cardiomyocytis and patchy intertestinal fibrosis. Never heard of it. Additionally, Willingham had heavy mucus in both bronchial uh, bronchi, along with mechanical compression of the lungs that collapsed the left and inflated the right lung. Further, the thousand-pound star was found unresponsive at the Ohio Center. At the end of June, 1st of July of 2023, as per the reports, the paramedics made several attempts to save his life but failed. I, My heart just broke. He was so sweet on that show, and I do believe she was madly in love with him. And I, I do think he really helped her out of a difficult spot. But that was, like, so sad, so, so tragic. Um, so there's your 1,000-pound sisters. A lot going on there. Mark my words, Tammy Slayton, she'll be in New York Fashion Week with Tom Brady, and I'll be like, oh, my God, what am I doing with my life? How, 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 what? How, how, did, how did this queen have this opportunity? What, what, what? There's a couple of big 90-day weddings that people are talking about. Does anyone remember Ben in Mahagani? Ben, our, yeah, well, Ben Rathburn from 90 Day Fiancé and Mahogany. Now, this was before... This is this is like huge because they were just on Diaries. Okay, if you watch Diaries, Diaries is where TLC has their former 90 Day Fiance members before the 90 Days, 90 Day the Other Way stars, has them self-shoot themselves. And it's kind of like a catch-up. Well, Ben Rathman and Mah- Mahagani. Now, it's actually Mahogany, but when he came on my podcast, he called her Mahagani. And everyone was like, huh? He claims that's exactly like she actually the way to pronounce her name is Mahagani. Um, but Mahagani Roka and Ben Rathbun are married on the diaries this past week. They revealed that they're married and fans went nuts because Ben had to sell blood and plasma in order to afford to go to Peru and marry Mahogany there. It all started when Ben had sent Mahogany a Instagram message. People can't believe that this is real, but they actually got married on Diaries and self-filmed it. And like her parents were there. Nobody thought this was real. No one thought their relationship was real. I'm still not sure their relationship is real. It seems to me so strange. She does not seem into him. She spoke English when they were on 90 Day Fiance. And now, like, no longer speaks English. Like, never, you never really hear her speak. It's just so bizarre. And they had a ceremony with her parents there. 
that they apparently they claim that they worked things out. I mean, I just, I, this is like so shocking to me. If you didn't catch the 90 Day Fiance Diaries, go watch. Tell me what you think. Ben looks, doesn't look well. When he was on my podcast, he was super fit. He looked great. Now he looks like he's lost a tremendous amount of weight. Mahogany doesn't look like she's particularly happy. Um, so, and Ben had fallen on some hard times. If you remember in 2020, he had an OUI arrest. Uh, Ben blamed a homeless couple for spiking his drink in a Red Roof Inn. Ben was fired from his job as director of Michigan Lupus Foundation, but he did share on Instagram about getting a new job as a creative content writer for a motorcycle magazine. Ben's Instagram has now been deactivated as of February 2023. Can anybody figure out what's going on here? Anyone. Hello. My inbox is open. It's very strange to me. They popped out out of nowhere. There wasn't a lot of promotion by our friends at 90 Day Fiancé. And if you recall, we originally were introduced to Ben and Mahogany from 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days Season (sighs) 6. Wow. I, I, I just, I'm not sure what to say, everybody. Huge age difference between the two of these, these two, like 20 years maybe this is really just a green card situation and he is making money from her. It's really, again, like we saw her speak great English and now go back to speaking no English hardly at all with the cameras. He's 52 and she's 22. 30 year age difference. Okay. This is a green card situation, folks. But you know what? Something fun to follow if you need to follow along for something and you're like, you know what? That'll do it. Also, Rishi. Does everyone recall Rishi and Jen? Rishi and Jen also on a recent 90 Day Fiance. The other way, um, they were on, and now Rishi ditched Jen several months ago. They broke up their relationship, and Rishi got married in a three day wedding affair to Maria Ramirez. Ramia, Maria, 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 oh my God. Maria Ramirez, thank you, has never been on TV. Rishi and Maria had a series of outfit changes for their wedding. Uh, Jenny and Sumit were there. The alum, he announced his engagement to Maria on Friday morning of this past week, and it was a surprise that kept giving as many news outlets learned that Rishi and Maria were already in the midst of a three-day wedding extravaganza. So what's going on here, do we think? Do we think they were always seeing one another? Because that was always Jen's thing. Jen always kind of had a feeling that Rishi wasn't transparent with her and Turns out maybe Jen was right. I mean, this was a beautiful wedding celebration. And she's like one hell of a rock on her hand, too. <laughs> okay, Rishi. Wow. Rishi had a holiday, um, a holiday ceremony showing off her completed. She had henna tattoos. Maria flashed her engagement ring and two additional bands on her wedding ring fingers. Beautiful. Wow. Oh, my God. So Rishi has found love and moved on, and it does not look like – it looks like we'll probably get a Diaries update from him, but he obviously won't be back on any 90-day franchise with Jen. Jen's, like, long gone. Hopefully Jen's okay. Hopefully she's okay. They were were an interesting couple because Jen's friends were so captivating. The other way, they were, like, so good. I loved that. Um, So a lot, a lot happening. Um, Okay. Uh, I also want to thank um, Horizon Fibroids for all of you guys in the D.C. region. Ladies, 80% of us will have a fibroid by the age of 50. Long periods, heavy periods can even cause infertility. If you live in the Maryland, D.C., Virginia region, see one doctor, Dr. Will Neem at Horizon Fibroids. He accepts almost all insurance and can help you with those fibroids. Don't be getting blood transfusions. Some women have fibroids so badly they're getting blood transfusions and iron transfusions. Don't do that. Go and see Dr. Will Neem. He does something called uterine fibroid embolization, a surgical procedure that's been around for 25 years with such low do- low downtime. They actually go in through an incision in your wrist, honey. Lots of times our OBGYNs tell us, get a hysterectomy. That's bananas. Be- see him before you do that at horizonfibroids.com. Um, lots going on in the Sarah Fraser show. My Super Bowl recap that people either loved or hated. Sorry, I think Travis Kelsey is a thug. And I also do think that that's, for me, where there's still real racial bias in this country, the way he acted towards Andy Reid. People are very fired up about that. 
You can listen to the podcast there and also catch up on Sister Wives. We're starting from the beginning while we wait for the end, baby. Every single Monday, I'll do a Sister Wives episode. So if you missed it, catch up and then you can follow us on TikTok at The Sarah Fraser Show and on Reddit. There's a Reddit chat, The Sarah Fraser Show. Bye, everybody.